I'm going to talk about extractables and leachables, um, particular challenges in drug product development. So we're not talking about the, the products themselves so much now, but about the packaging into which we put them. So what are extractables and leachables? Extractables are compounds that can be extracted from the container closure system in which your product is sitting um, by appropriate solvents, not by the product itself, but by appropriate extraction solvents. And your leachables are compounds that can leach into your drug product from your container closure system during the storage over the lifetime shelf life of your product. And this diagram shows that generally leachables are a, a small subset of extractables. Um, you wouldn't expect so much or as many leachables as you see extractables. But another important point to note is that they don't quite overlap. And you can get products seen at the leachables phase which are not extractables, they're coming from further up your process or they're coming from interactions between your drug product and your container closure system. So you wouldn't have seen them at this stage. Why are we worried about them? Um, the bottom line is patient safety. Uh, whether any of these things are going to cause us a problem for our patients. So toxicity of the leachables themselves, uh, be that from carcinogenic or non-carcinogenic toxicity, as far as biopharmaceuticals are concerned, it's um, possible that proteins are better at dissolving leachables from the packaging systems than small molecules. So that's an important point to consider. Again, for biopharmaceuticals, leachables can cause changes in proteins, uh, conformation changes, aggregation, uh, degradation. There are literature examples of this going on. And there are also literature examples of adjuvant and immunomodulatory effects caused by leachables. Unfortunately for uh, extractables and leachables, the guidance is not quite so comprehensive. Um, this is taken from the 1999 FDA guidance, uh, which basically tells you that um, packaging components shouldn't cause a problem. It doesn't tell you much about how to analyze for, for any potential problems. And the Code of Federal Regulations, again, talks about um, not causing reactive, additive um, effects that affect the safety and also the identity, strength, quality and purity of your drug product. So it's not just the leachables, but it's any effects on your drug product as well. So where are these things coming from? Uh, they're coming from interaction between your drug product and the packaging. They can also come from uh, label adhesive and ink migrating through the packaging. That's particularly prevalent when you have the semi-permeable semi packaging such as you do with an ophthalmic drug product. Uh, they can come from secondary packaging, volatiles that again are migrating into your drug product, released from your secondary packaging. And as I mentioned, there's a possibility of things that have been leached out before your product even reaches the pack. Uh, 